Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick from YGS Electronics and today we're going to be finishing off Siemens G110 drive. We're going to be running drive today in remote control using MLP which is push button up and down frequency control and also we'll be checking out a multi-frequency setup. If you missed the last couple of videos and we did a commissioning and run the remote control with 2-3 wire control do check out the description below and also all the manuals everything else I believe it will do benefit you in any possible way it will be in the description below so without further ado Let's get started. Here we are. So our first st the station pro video is in. So that was going to be our MOP control station. We're going to have forward run, reverse run, speed up and speed down. And let's go through the wiring straight away. So for the wiring, uh, we will have a terminal 6 coming to our uh, uh, e-stop in here from e-stop down there is distributes the power to all the uh, switches from there on digital input 0 is going to be our uh, forward run a digital input 1 is going to be our reverse run a digital input 2 is going to be our speed up and as you probably noticed there is no more digital inputs after that so uh, what you can do as soon as you change to MLP you can have uh, the number 9 as your digital input. Your analog input can become a digital input so we are sending this guy in here to digital input four, uh, 3 which is terminal 9. So that's what we need to do to be able to achieve this kind of uh, system and for the parameters 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 as you can see in here, we've got uh, for MOP control, we got 13, uh, which is going up, and for MOP uh, down is going to be R14. So, uh, to regarding uh, be it is a frequency uh, understanding for the drive, we need to make sure we go for both parameter 1000. We need to change that one to 1, and that is directly for MOP control. So, make sure that is on 1. So, uh, yes, and uh, regarding uh, your inputs, let's, let's go through. Let's go uh, uh, 10 to input 0 is 1, this input uh, 1 is 2, this input 3 is 13, and this input 4 is 14. And that pretty much is uh, how this uh, kind of setup would work for us. So uh, let me put a cover on and we go from there. Here we are, so the cover is on, so this is our station. So let's put in a forward run. So and as you can see with the buttons, I'm able to uh, up the speeds and down the speeds. And then I can stop and it will default down to zero. And I start up again. And as you can see, it doesn't save it. So uh, if you put both buttons together for on reverse, you can. And uh, as you can see, it sets, it sets back down to zero. Every time you stop, it sets back down to zero. If you, by any chance, don't like that, go to parameter 1031 and change that to one. And that should solve that problem for you because it will store it will store that parameter, that, that frequency in a parameter 1040. You can access that with appropriate uh, access level. We're not gonna go through that, so. Uh, here we go, so now let's put it on, so run it forward and let's stop it. As you can see, it flashes down there, it shows 21, so it's not allowing you to change it. So uh, as you can see, now it saves it, if you wish to have it that way. So if you put these two buttons together, as you can see it doesn't work, and it goes exactly the same, uh, say it does the same frequency for reverse as well. And again, remember your sensitivity of your buttons is very much dependent on your acceleration, the acceleration at times. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we set up a MLP control for this drive. It's a really good control if you don't want to use potentiometer. So, uh, so yeah. So next station, let's jump on to multi-frequency setup. Here we are, so our multi-frequency station is wired in and this is what it's pretty much going to be looking like. So we're going to be run signal, we're going to speed 1, speed 2 and speed 3. Uh, with this drive, there's several ways you can do the, your uh, frequency control. I'll give you a small introduction to what it is what. So uh, regarding wiring, I'll quickly run you through the wiring until we can, we can get to straight to the how to set out. We've got a terminal 6 again coming to our e-stop and then distributing power to all the switches. 
So our first frequency, which, which is basically, this is not going to be bit, select system, uh, bit selection, but it's going to be literally each switch will represent some form of uh, frequency. And when you add them together, when you click two, two, two on at the same time, it will just keep adding them up. So our first no, digital uh, uh, the run signal is actually going to be on our terminal nine because we need because you you can have a choice you can have you not needing a run signal. I like having run signal as personal choice. There's two choices you can do, and I'm going to show that in a minute in which parameter that is. So you can have a choice with on or without on. I chose with on, so which is which is the parameter uh, 15, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. So that goes to nine, that one goes to digital input one, and I mean digital input uh, zero, terminal three, digital input uh, one, terminal four, and digital input uh, two, terminal five. So uh, that was speed one, speed two, and speed three. That's exactly what you just saw in a uh, uh, so I almost fell off uh, in uh, the, this little setup what we've got in here and the one thing I completely forgot I oh, know I didn't forget so options so if you look in here uh, in selection in any in digital in digital input you have to select one of these fixed frequency direction uh, direct selection uh, or 16 will be fixed frequency direction plus on so you will not need the run button for the frequency to run if you choose to go that route plus if you go this route you can still have a potentiometer for your first or well, whatever speed you want to call it that, uh, uh, so for that selection so yeah so uh, this is the options you can have I went for this because I like my on button so and I have a reprogrammed the the digital uh, analog input and uh, nine to uh, to be a digital input. So um, let's go check it out. So uh, for frequency control, we do need to go make sure the one thousand is selected to three, and then from there on one thousand one is going to be your first, second, and third frequency. And also if you go down to seven oh one, as you can see, I have selected. 15, 15, and 15, and it will know exactly which is which by itself. So all three digital inputs have been uh, connected to be as a fixed frequencies. And as you can see for the fourth one, I've got one, which represents a run signal for run forwards pretty much. So uh, you can, again, there's other options you, you can have if you wish. You cannot put a uh, fixed frequency on that one. It will not let you. So uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's it. So uh, that's how we done that. Actually, let me just try something. If I go and change that, oh, change that one to, I say twelve. Can I get it? No, it won't let me. So I was just double checking. Maybe it was just because you already used it. No, we don't. So. Uh, 15. So that's pretty much what you, we need to set up and to get uh, this uh, station going. So uh, next thing up, oh no, this one, this one. Uh, next thing up, let me put a cover on and I'll show you how that works. Here we are, so the cover is on. So I'll show you why I like my run signal. As you can see down here, I can select my frequency and I can see what's going to be happening to my drive. That's why I like my separate button. So if I ever use it, I'll select it. So I know what's going to be happening. So I can, as you can see, they sum up. So you can have individuals like speed one. Speed two, that will be 20, and speed three is going to be at 30. But you can also have some. So pretty much, it's sort of, you can have more frequencies, but it's just a, it's a limited way of control. You can't really edit them. So as you can see, all three will give me 50 hertz and sort of, and just that. Once I selected what I want, let's say this frequency, I put my run signal on, and off you go. And that's pretty much uh, how that's going to uh, work. And you can uh, select your frequencies whichever way you you want it. As you can see, he sums them up as it runs and basically whatever the frequency is, it pluses them up. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is big frequency. This is the first drive I have uh, ever really worked uh, that has this option that uh, you can uh, actually control the uh, multi-frequency without run signal. That's pretty cool. I like that option. So uh, I've never had this, well, probably didn't, I don't know. I've never really seen it in any other drive. So uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, this will cover uh, the uh, multi-frequency setup, and this will be the last uh, of uh, the station we are going to be using, and we are pretty much done with this drive. We can jump in on, on the lens on our next uh, 
uh, drive selection. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, please smash that like, do subscribe if you like what we do in here. So uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.